hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel techx tutorials and in this video i'm gonna show you how to install twrp custom recovery in any android device so custom recovery allows you to install custom rom take android backups install custom kernels and install many more different apps which are not allowed by normal devices so i'm gonna show you a step by step procedure how to do this and it is the easiest and the safest method to do so but before starting you should be knowing that you should have an android device with unlocked bootloader if you don't know how to unlock your bootloader or if you, if you don't have an unlocked bootloader you can head into the description and find the link for unlocking the bootloader which is the newest and the most safest method or you can use the card appearing right now so let's get started with the video Okay, here we go. So first you need to head in the link in the description and find the link for SDK platform tools which will take you to this site uh, developerandroid.com. You can see the SDK platform tools. Go down to download section and according to your operating system you can search for Mac, Linux or Windows. I'm using Windows 10 so I'll go for the first option. I'll read those license and agreement. I'll scroll down and click on it and download the SDK platform tools. After downloading, you will get a file like this. It will be in uh, zip format. You need to extract it. After extraction, you need to open this and you can see such files over here. Fastboot, ADB, Wins Up and many more like this. Extract it to a folder. Next, you need to find Chrome and open website twrp.me and hit the enter. You will be re redirected to Team wins official site there you need to press on devices over here to find the match for your desired device search for your device on which you want to install the TWRP custom recovery yes here in mine's uh, HTC desire 12 plus version so I'll click on this I'll scroll down and under the download link section press the first option yes after you press that you will be redirected to this page there are a lot of image files for this one you will download the latest one click on it and you will have your file downloaded right there click on the latest one to download okay after the download had finished now the next step would be copy the image file to the platform tools folder over here so that you'll need it while replacing the recovery. Now when you're done with this the next step would be connecting your device to your PC using a USB cable. Now the next step would be go to the settings there scroll down until you reach system I'm using an Android 8.0 you can have a more latest version or older version this work will this thing will work on any device there you must go in about phone tap on bill number six to seven times and enter your password When you do that you will be a developer now go back and you can see the developer options yeah right there now you can see there are many options under the developer options you should be knowing that usb debugging option should be enabled press on ok yes right there one more thing is that you can see this OEM unlocking option has been disabled because you can see that bootloader is already unlocked which means that my device bootloader is already unlocked make sure you have a bootloader unlocked because you cannot proceed without doing this if you don't know how to unlock a bootloader just check in the link in description and you'll get to know about that or you can use the card appearing right now 
So that's it, connect it and see in the PC. Now on your PC, go to the platform tools folder and here you need to open command prompt into this folder. In order to do this, you got two options. One is uh, using shift, press shift and right click. You can see the PowerShell window here option. You can either click on this or you can simply tap on the taskbar and press CMD and hit the enter button. Now you have opened the CMD in this platform tools folder. Now next is you need to type this commands ADB devices to check whether your device is being recognized or not. Hit enter. As you can see my device has been recognized. You can move forward and type ADB reboot boot loader. Now when you do that your device goes into the bootloader and I, I'll show you a short preview of that. As you can see we have entered the bootloader mode and you can see my device status is unlocked that means my bootloader is unlocked. Make sure your bootloader is unlocked and do not proceed without this or, or this will really break your device and leave you with nothing. So use the link in the description and watch the video how to unlock bootloader of any device. So let's move forward. Okay next, you need to flash the recovery file that you have just downloaded. For that you need to first identify your device in fastboot, fastboot devices, fastboot devices and you can see my fastboot device has been recognized. Move forward and flash the recovery, fastboot flash recovery and the file name dot img you need to type this dot img manually fastboot flash recovery file name dot img this is very necessary and hit the enter button when you do that your recovery will be flashed and that's it you have installed twrp recovery in your device for accessing that you need to type fast boot boot file name dot ing and hit the enter button there we go you can see that we have booted into the team win twrp custom recovery option and you're free to access everything over here so you can install custom rom take backups restore your phone and install kernels everything that is available right here so make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're new, like this video and share it with your friends and we'll see you in the next video. So then, bye.